Welcome to the demonstration on how to use Polysun Horizon Editor. Launched as a new feature of Polysun 5.8, the Horizon Editor allows you to include buildings and objects located near your installation and to input mutual shading for large PV fields. Following the usual steps in Polysun, you can basically click on location of the system, select the location from a map or a database, in this case we'll say 8000 for Zurich. Moreover, we can define the weather data, cold water supply, storage room, and on the lower part we can define the horizon. In here we can access the horizon editor by clicking on edit. The horizon editor is divided into four parts. On the upper part you have the horizon line, which is indicated with a red line, and the sun path, which is indicated with a yellow line. The sun path can also be visualized along a year on a daily basis, or during one day on an hourly basis. If you go on the lower part, you have the new feature called Obstructions and Mutual Shading. In Obstruction, you can input a building or an object that is located near your PV module. And in Mutual Shading, you can input the location and the disposition of your PV rows. We can start by importing the profile of the horizon of the location we have selected. We click on Meteor Norm. And here we have the profile of the horizon of the city of Zurich. If we go on obstructions, we can define the new object by inputting D, the distance to the object, H, the height of that object, and A, the angle of the location of that object. We add to horizon, and here we have the new building or object located near our system. If we go on mutual shading, we have two PV rows here. We will define D, the distance between the PV rows, alpha, the tilt angle, W, the length of the PV modules, and A, the azimuth angle. We add to horizon, and here we have the new line of the horizon, including the obstruction and mutual shading. If we would like to add a new object to that horizon line, we simply input new values and add to horizon. If we would like to start all over again, we just press reset, and we start again with inputting values. As you can see, there are many ways of inputting the horizon profile. We thank you for your attention and we hope you enjoyed this demonstration.